Oh, oh, gosh. Grease it, my gosh. Bye. Ow. Oh, gosh darn it. Aren't you girl 67? I am she. <laughs> she is me. <laughs> well, she has a lovely nose. <laughs> so, Mr. Hungry Hippo, <laughs> do we, do we just go to I you? made dinner. Well, I, I'm making. Oh, by the time you came. Ah, apparently I screwed that up. Stupid. But yeah, it's okay. Uh, I'll be fine. I'm fine. And uh, I, I think you will be really happy with the final product. Uh, all I have to do now is plate it up. I hope you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really tasty. Uh, and uh, I'll have it ready to go. How do you feel about veal? I'm actually vegetarian. Why? Well, I just went vegetarian years ago and it, I don't know, felt right. Just makes me feel good. You don't eat any meat? I do not. Uh, do you eat salads? Ones without meat in them. Hold on. A vegetarian salad <laughs> with no meat in it. Looks good. Dressing. Yeah, the salad dressing is an old family recipe of balsamic vinaigrette. I've always wanted to make my own dressing. It took me years to get my hands on the right recipe. Yeah. The secret, you know, the secret to good balsamic is mixing olive oil and vinegar. Your secret family recipe is oil and vinegar? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot the most important part. Hmm. Pepper. The key yep. is in the spices. I'm a big spice man. You're a spice man. Mm, a big one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem like a big spicy man. You look spicy. Shoot, I can't believe I just said that. Well, with you eating salad and trying to enjoy your dinner, I... <clears throat> Munchy Girl 67, I will not say another word. So, where were you going to start on me? I thought I would start at your feet. Then move up your legs to your thighs. Pretty standard routine. What if you start at my thighs and saved my feet for last? Is that what you want. I'll go to your belly button. Then hold you down so the only thing you can feel is my body on top of you as I trail my tongue all the way up to your lips. Then chomp your plump eyeball. <laughs> Could you not your... eat my eyes? Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I can do that, sure. But the agreement was I would eat all of you. I know. I'm a cannibal. So I've heard. And the eyes, eyes are just my favorite part. Listen, you can eat every inch of me. 
It's just it. Well, if you eat my eyes, I won't be able to see anything anymore. <laughs> when I eat all of you, you won't be able to see much. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be dead. All my organs, I... Uh, Macho Girl 67. You don't even know my real name. Oh, oh sh shoot. I'm Harold. That's my real name. I'm sorry. Munchie Girl 67? Harold? I have had a really long day. Can you just get out of my way? Yeah. Oh, oh. I don't want to eat you anymore, okay? Can we just have a do-over? Just a nice dinner. Not, not me eating you as my dinner, but just the two of us eating dinner together and then you leaving. With all your eyes intact. Marceline. Ow. Oh. Ow. Hold still, hold still, hold still. Okay. That's your name? Mm-hmm. You will eat people raw, blood, guts and all, but you don't like a little cut? Yes, Marceline, I do not. <laughs> oh. Me too. We can't have me. Oh, I, I don't eat vegetarians anyway. Mm. I bet you taste like Brussels sprouts. You eat Brussels sprouts? Sometimes it can be hard to find someone to eat. So when the pickings are slim, you have to shop at Kroger or something. What's this? I want to introduce you to real protein. You're hungry. No vegetables allowed, only veal. I'm serious. Mmm. Mmm, it tastes like, it tastes good. Kind of spicy. Yeah, it's really spicy. <laughs> Mm, what is this, an accountant? Ooh, a taxi driver? The veal. What? Veal, it's a meat that comes from calves. Uh, calves as in baby cows? Yeah, I know that, it's... That's not a person. <laughs> I... <laughs> I've been so lonely. Every time I love someone, I love them with everything I have. And they don't give me anything. Jesus, did someone be vulnerable? Just. That's all I ask. <laughs> I guess it took the thought of chewing human between my teeth to think. Finally, feel real. Mm. Do people taste better than this? Uh, people taste kind of like that. Veal. But that's not all I taste in people. I can feel 
traces of their desires and passions graze my tongue. Everything they've lost. Everything they've won. And in that moment, I am one with them and I am keeping them safe. Can I eat you? And I want you to eat me. We just take in each other's senses and bathe in each other's breath. I trust you.